At this point, Amazon might as well have access to my bank account because I literally, <sighs> the amount of things that I find on Amazon that are just pure gold is unreal. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jade. I used to go by Lipstick and Curls. That's, she's over, She we have exited that era. Now I am back on YouTube, okay child? And we are doing all things hair, beauty, mom, life, faith, all the things. If this video piqued your interest, definitely go check out more of my videos on my channel. Not only do I want you to subscribe to this channel, like, comment, do all the things, you already know what to do on that front, but I also want you to join my email list. Now granted, if you don't want emails all the time, don't worry, I'm not that girl, okay? I might send you an email once a week, maybe once a month, give or take. I'm really trying to do better with being communicative on email because I feel like Social media is just super, super oversaturated. So anyway, not only did I get this top, these glasses, these earrings, and so many more things on Amazon, but I'm about to show you this new tool that I got for literally under $30. This little baby right here, oh, she's different, okay? For less than $30, she's like that and a definite must have if you have short hair like me, you're growing out a pixie cut, you're growing out a big chop, and you wanna have feathery, blown out, kind of refreshed hair without using a flat iron or a hot comb or just intense heat period, this is that girl. So I initially discovered her on TikTok from Alicia Williams. She's a longtime content creator. She's also a twin. Hey girl, hey. I will link her down below. But I saw this video that she put out and I was just like, oh my God, I need this. Because I have been rocking this little roller set lately. And to be honest, it's been one of the most fun hairstyles that I have discovered to date. And I'm not gonna lie y'all, I was a little nervous about this grow out process, okay? Because if you've ever gotten a pixie cut or a big chopped, you know that there's like awkward growing out stages, okay? And I was really nervous about it because I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna look rough for at least six months while my hair grows out. And one day I just randomly thought, I might as well try to roll my hair. Let me see if I can even get it into some rollers, okay? And that is how we stumbled upon the classic roller set. Like literally, I just posted a video last week about how I've been doing my roller sets. I showed y'all a couple techniques in that video that I kind of use sometimes, one of which did not work out, but we were still able to save the hair. But I'm definitely gonna continue sharing how I'm doing these roller sets because I'm getting different results with different product combos, with different tools that I'm using. And this is definitely one of the tools that I'm like, if you are roller setting your hair or simply wearing a silk press on a regular basis, you need this. Now, this size is actually the 0.75 or 3 fourths inch size. They also have a one inch and I believe a one and a half inch in this tool. But for me, the best is this smaller one, which is less than an inch in diameter. I think that's diameter, right? Diameter? Um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I've kept my hair wrapped at night, which is real basic, y'all. I don't even do the absolute most when it comes to wrapping my hair because I've tried different methods and I still haven't really nailed what method keeps my hair like correct, right, all the time, foolproof, um, because sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Anyway, so I have been doing just a very simple wrap my hair with a scarf at night and leaving the back out pretty much. And so that allows my curls to kind of stay like voluminous because when I've actually wrapped my hair like a doobie wrap type vibe at night, it gives a little bit too much of like a, I don't know, it, it doesn't give me as much volume the next day. 
I don't like that. I still need a little something the next day. And so even with doing all of that though, I still find sometimes in the morning, I've got some awkward pieces, some pieces that still need a little bit of help. And I don't want to reach for a flat iron or reach for even a hot comb because I'm trying to avoid direct heat. And so I started using this. And like I said, she's that girl. So I'm gonna show you in this video how I use her, kind of talk through kind of like the methods, how I use her because I feel like when you have short hair, there are definitely different angles and different curl types that make your hair go from 1984 to 2024, okay? So yeah, even though this look is still giving auntie, somebody, mama, which is fine, okay? We're here for the grown woman look, okay? We have fully invested in this look now, but okay, I know how some of us may feel when we can be borderline granny with this look and it really depends on how you curl your hair. Um, and this this tool really helps with that. So anyway, let me stop talking and let me stop rambling and let's get right into this video. So here's the tool and the bristles are really sturdy, which I love. So you're really gonna be able to get some tension when you use this. Also, as I'm brushing my hair out, I'll tell y'all real quick. So this tool is only going to go up to 60 watts. So in comparison to the hooded dryer that I use, the hooded dryer goes up to like 1800 watts and most handheld blow dryers go up to about a thousand. So this is very much so a low heat um, tool, which is great for those touch-ups throughout the week that won't really do anything bad to your hair. Let's get into how I actually use this while curling my hair. So you can go in with this tool and kind of just pick apart pieces that need to be recurled or freshened up. For me, I like to still use sections just so everything looks even. And I like to use a little bit of tension, especially um, at the root. And so I'll go over my roots a couple times, if not like maybe two or three times. Again, this is like a low wattage tool, so it's not gonna do much damage at all. Uh, and then I will curl that first piece out and so here's the thing this because it's such a small barrel brush you're gonna get a tight curl on this so that's why I would suggest using a diagonal motion when you're doing this so not just like a straight curl but you want to use like a twist and pull down method that's what I find works the best is when I literally grab the hair around the brush and then twist and pull down kind of instantly this gives me more of like a feathered look versus like a curl curl but even at 60 watts you can get a really nice curl with this brush without much power and that I think is the real game changer here because you will get some curl even with minimal effort here and especially if your hair is short you want some curl because straight on straight short short hair is not gonna give okay so a little bit of curl a little bit of bump is really what you want here and i'm not necessarily trying to you know recreate a whole different style i'm just trying to give my hair some body and some movement and that's exactly what this tool does so I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this video and let you see how I kind of complete this. Again, this is not rocket science, this is super easy. And for, like I said, less than $30, this tool is worth having in your arsenal for like a daily maintenance upkeep on your hair. So yes, yeah, sis, keep up with me, let's stay connected. I would love for you to be on my email list, but even if you don't wanna be on my email list, at bare minimum, download my Becoming Her Bible Devotional. It's a free four day Bible devotional that me and God wrote last year that I think will really bless you and really get you going on the right foot, especially in the beginning of this year spiritually, which then obviously manifests into the physical too. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.